Hello guys, so today uh, we'll make swinging clothes in the wind just like these simple stuff for quick animation especially when you are a one-man band who makes music and sings and create video clips and needs to be very quick and make a video every week so today we will make this simple animation using a few bones and weight painting and then we add a few tricks to make it loop and just make these clothes float forever so let's start first shift a we add a new bone armature single bone let's hit one on the numpad so here's our bone let's move it here with g and then we hit seven on the numpad and adjust it a little bit more here over our grease pencil object so our grease pencil object is just a simple object with one layer and a few materials here so we select our bone we go to edit mode here and then we select this ball here and g we move it here nice and then again g and then e to extrude and add a second bone now let's select the first bone let's go to here to the bone properties and then go to bendy bones and change this to five to make this bone bendy i think three is enough but five is fine too so five here too and then let's go here and change this from octahedral to b bone let's select both bones here and then hit alt control and s and we can resize these guys like this and then let's change back to uh, octahedral nice select these two bones and then shift t with duplicate to the second clothes you see that it's invisible here so we'll check this guy in front to be able to see our bones every time so we select the ball and then move with g and then we select this ball again and then move with g nice and then we select both and shift d to duplicate again here we will need only one bone we will use the second bone to move the other bone because they both are bendy bones so we hit seven here yeah everything looks fine and we go to object mode by hitting Control tab and choose object here select the clothes and then shift select the armature and then hit Control p and armature deform with empty groups okay and we have so the the clothes are parented to the armature as you can see here armature and our clothes are here so now we should have our vertex groups here so under object data properties and then you go down here to vertex groups so now we go with Control tab to vertex no to weight paint so in blender 2.93 these places were swapped previously a uh, weight painting were on this side okay voila we are here in weight, weight painting mode and we will weight paint each region with its bone but we will need the names of these bones because every group here has the name of the bone let's go back to object mode and select our armature and then select our object data properties here and check names here to be able to see the names they are a little bit hard to see with the white background we can change the background to like i don't know to black can do that they are still not well visible because the uh, the colors here are light anyways let's select our object again and go to uh, weight painting and select the first vertex group here and start painting here let's hit f make it a little big make the brush a little bigger and just paint the upper region except except this part here because we want we don't want the edge of these trousers to move so we keep these unpainted and paint half of the trousers and then we select the second group as you can see bone zero zero one and we paint it like this and do the same with our other parts 
we can just let's do Control z we can just ignore this part here and paint just the edges here so like this and then like this it's very easy easy painting so again the lower half with with this group bone zero zero three and then here very nice and then to the last one we have two bones here but we don't we want paint for this bone only for this bone so we paint this region here okay i guess the weight painting was done let's go to object mode we can select our armature again we can change here to b bone and you see that we have uh, these bendy bones divided and all because we duplicated them from this one now we can select our armature and go to pose mode by hitting Control tab i guess so now we are in pose mode and we can start rotating these guys with r as you can see we go to our dub sheet and then here we choose action editor and we can start animating these guys so in frame one we will do some animations with r we only need r here let's animate this like this and then let's do the opposite here and then we do one here I will do it very quickly but you can take your time and here we just move this second this lower bone we don't need to move the other bone the upper bone like this very nice and then we go like to frame 20 I don't know if it's too much to frame 20 yeah I think frame 10 is good so here we move again with R like this nice and then like this and then we move this like this very nice yes I think I will just select everything all the bones here with A and then go to frame 20 and select this guy and then shift D and duplicate them here so now we have a full loop you see we already have our animation very nice now we select these two bones and we are here in frame 1 and we do A here and we can resize this animation a little bit so that we have some randomness I don't know what's wrong here don't know which object is this let's just move it to frame one okay let's select and then resize a little bit with s and then let's keep this one like this a here and resize a little bit i think with smaller objects the swing uh, would be faster than with bigger objects i don't know so here is our animation and now let's try to add some loop let's select our first bone here and then we put our cursor here and drag it after clicking of course left clicking and then we select our uh, graph editor here so we have our bone here and we have these uh, controls for rotation we don't know which one of these controls is swing let's hit normalize here to be able to see the let's zoom in a little bit so we have animations in almost every one in the z and the x and the y but there is only one that controls the swing so let's try every one okay let's make this a little bigger and then hit N and then go to modifiers and add a cycles modifier okay let's try it no it doesn't work the animation should be looping if it worked so we delete this modifier and then go to X here and add another cycles modifier no it doesn't work so let's delete it and then we go to Y I guess you want to work with Y because there's no curve here so we go to Z and add a modifier cycles 
and now it works you see that our animation is looping we know now that it's the z so we select the second bone no there's an easier way to do it we hit a to select all the bones and then go to our control here of the first bone and copy our modifier and then let's um how is this called show all these guys here and select the second quaternion z here and then we hit shift and select the other one and then shift we select the other one shift we select this guy shifts here and then shift here and then we click here to paste the modifier yes it was paste everywhere and uh, voila now the loop should work in all our bones very nice and we have a nice random animation not uh, the same length and not the same speed and not the same angle of swinging so i think this is it guys it was very uh, quick you can of course take your time and make it look much better like than this so thank you guys for watching if you like the video push push the like button uh, subscribe if you will and if you want to support the channel there's my gumroad in the description you can buy any file from that account uh, that's it see you in another video and peace